Hey guys, it's your girl Briella. So I am doing a video about how I blow dry my hair and basically wear it out and braid out. Stay tuned. I'm definitely not gonna lie, I am a lazy natural. And when it comes to my hair, I'm always like, what am I doing with it? Like, it's just a lot. It takes a lot of time to do. Um, sometimes I spend hours undoing it and my job requires basically a lot of time as I have 12 hour shifts as a physician assistant. So yeah, I definitely try to keep my days where I'm doing my hair as quick as possible and styles that will last for days and sometimes at weeks at a time. What I found for me is wearing my hair in its blow dried state rather than its kinky state is a lot easier to manage, especially when you have busy work weeks. So what you'll see is right now I'm blow drying my hair. I do use the tension method. And what I do after I get it blow dried out somewhat straight is I apply castor oil and twist it up. Typically what I do after I am done blow drying each of the sections. I will take it out at the end and style it as necessary. So what you'll see in this video is that I will actually put my hair in braids and typically what I'll do is I will wear that braid out style, twist out style, or if it's in a ponytail, I will try and keep that style for a few days or sometimes up to a week. I will also apply oils and lotions as necessary depending on how my hair is feeling after wearing it in a protective style or doing the protective style phase. I typically really use castor oil the most just because castor oil lasts on my hair for days just because it's such a thick it's not really a butter but it's just a thick oil and it makes my hair feel soft and it doesn't dry it out and I definitely do like the castor oil when it's on my hair and it does help sometimes with getting a straighter look having that oil on unfortunately the oil doesn't help with frizz you will have to use another product if you don't like frizzy hair I don't know about you, but I don't really buy any type of products to help prevent frizz. I just embrace the frizz that ends up occurring after a few days of wearing my hair in a blow dried out state. So whenever I wear a twist out or a braid out, they tend to start to loosen up and actually get puffier than what it looked like originally, which was more of a thinner and defined look. And I'm typically okay with that. I also try to make sure if I know there's a high humidity level out um, in regards to the air quality, when going outside, I'll typically just keep my hair in twist or braids or leave it in a ponytail. Something in regards to a style that will not cause a frizzy mess and lead to tangles from my hair shrinking up and puffing out from the humidity slash water in the air. So as you can see in this part of the video, I am still blow drying out my hair and putting each section into twists that I will later take out and basically turn those sections into braids for a protective style that I will be able to wear for a few days or sometimes up to a week. I have figured out that when I braid my root down and put it in a twist, that tends to keep the twist lasting longer and putting my hair in braids actually lasts longer than the twist and keeps it less tangled. So I am almost done braiding my hair. This process of the blow drying out and braiding very small sections. I think total I probably had about 25 braids. This took about two and a half hours to complete. But like I said, braids typically will last me maybe 
a week or I can push it to two and that's if I'm really using a bonnet when I'm sleeping. So after I'm done wearing my hair in a protective style, sometimes I will wear a braid out. And as you can see, I ended up doing a braid out two days after I put my hair in braids. So I unravel the braids, but before unraveling, I always use an oil to place on my hands so I don't cause any breakage. Although my hair still has that castor oil on it, I still put a little bit of castor oil on my hands and basically that helps with unraveling my braids and making sure I don't have any additional breakage. I try to be gentle and make sure I start from the bottom to the top when unraveling these braids and basically what you see is it's more of a defined it's thinner curls but they're loose and this is actually a style that I typically wear for maybe two days two or three days probably by the second and third day my hair usually frizzes and puffs out a bit if I do not individually take out all the curled strands that are tightly curled together from being in a braid. Um, if I do wait a few days and don't really individually take out the curls, basically what happens is I start to get tangles and I would say I don't really wear my hair in a braid out for more than one week without the tangling because that's just a knotty mess that will take hours and hours to try and detangle and get all those knots out and cut out some of the single strand knots. So, yeah. I did like the way it came out. But what I also did is I will show you guys what it typically looks like when I either let my hair get exposed to some humidity after you know a few days or a day or just what it looks like when I individually take out each curl to give it a little bit more volume. I think both textures look very nice whether it's very defined thinner curls or it's the looser curls but what you'll see is I'm going to continue to take out each individual curl. It does add an additional maybe for me it added additional 30 minutes to take it down it was easy because my hair wasn't tangled because it was very moisturized while it was in braids for the past two days and also just because i had applied additional oil to my hands when i took out each curl as you can see it already gave me a little bit more volume than what i already had from wearing my hair straight out from the braid out. This look is definitely elegant. I mean, you can wear it, you know, to work. If you really want to, you can wear it just for social events and just simple every day. But I typically try not to wear my hair out every day because I'm trying to help protect my ends and prevent breakage now that I am trying to grow my hair back out because I did recently have to trim it about two months ago due to breakage. But yeah guys, this is the finished look. As you can see, my hair is definitely more voluminous and it is looking so moisturized. So guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in and watching my hair video. So if you guys liked it, please comment and subscribe for more content from me. Thank you guys. Take care fam and Stella fams.